fast, you scallywags. All hands on deck. I'm fetching to take over this ship they call the Black Pearl. She's not ready to set sail. She needs a lot of work. She needs a crew. Pay no attention to that toy of mine back there. He's got a king's ransom on his head and he'll be strung up before sunrise. Seeing you're all scallywags, how about me give you a tour of the Black Pearl as she stands today? Here's my pearl. She's mostly just bones. But we got the decks set and in place. So let's take a minute and see how we got this far. Picking up approximately wherever I left off, this is parts 15 on the bottom, 17, which goes on the back. The older version had um, engravings back here, but on this version, there's a metal engraving that will glue over this. So I think I'm gonna have to go ahead and stain this. And 15, you're gonna need to bevel this edge just a little um, down here because this is gonna fit in and it, it has a slight slant to it. And you're gonna want this piece to line up properly with this back section. Uh, part 15 needs tapered just a little bit so that this can slant perpendicular to part 16 right here. So they can be fairly close to the same slant. I've confirmed in the instructions on the very back piece, the 17, where it's printed on the wood, faces the back of the ship. All the rest of these, the numbers should be facing the front of the ship. So far I've not glued much. This is not glued. I'm not going to do that because it's easier to put the deck on where I can move them a little bit. But uh, 15 and 17, I think it's going to require that I glue them. So that's holding that flush. This is nice and firm and uh, I think I'll be happy with that. The next segments to be put in place are 18 through 21. This piece 18 just kind of snapped in there so you need to be a little careful so that you know the direction. This is the front of the ship, this is the bow, and this is uh, part 18. Next will be 19. Twenty. I don't glue these in place yet because I want to be able to move them around a little bit to aid in me getting this in place. I've taken 19 off. This is a good reason to dry fit. I was having great difficulty getting this to fit in because this is notched. So I can take this apart, fit this in, and now slide this into place. It does say you'll need to bow this a little bit, but that's fine. have a kind of a uh, slight u-shaped or a bow towards the inside so now I'm going to go back and go ahead and put 19 back in place and it does show all of these with the numbers for the parts up facing because this is going to be covered with planking this is part 21 I have the same thing here, but this I have glued, but I think I can maneuver this to get it in where I want it. I could have taken a file and filed those so they'd be a little looser to get that to fit better, 
but because I was able to get it to slide down, I'm good with that. It's very, very snug. None of this has been glued in place yet. I probably will have to, just to make sure that this stays in that bowed position, put some glue from the underneath side. The instructions say that I need to pre-make a part. It's going to go under this deck, which I probably should have put it in there before I put the deck down, but that's why I dry fit things. And I've really been struggling because this black walnut is so beautiful. I was thinking I didn't want to stain it. I thought maybe I'd just put tongue oil on it. So I did a test. Here is the tongue oil. Here is the uh, mahogany, red mahogany stain. And I think the red mahogany for the black pearl, it's got to be that. This is going to be too light, even though I, I love the thought of using the natural for the black pearl. I think it needs to be a little darker. So I'm going to stain quite a bit of the black walnut. So I'm going to go ahead and get this stained and put the windows on the door and then uh, I'll show you once it's in position. I've got this stained and together and just a little hint, it was easier to center the windows by looking back through the back side and then just gently moving them around. You could position them, I think, straighter. But then I did do a little, uh, little more on this end as far as raising them up. I don't know that they're exactly right, but as soon as that uh, glue sets up, I can put that in place. Another decision that has to be made early on, and I've backed off, I've taken this off, is lighting. And these windows and doors will lead to the captain's quarters. Now, although this particular ship doesn't have an elaborate area in there for the captain's quarters, it's kind of fake, but I want it to look as if it's real. So what I've done, I've added two LED lights. These are uh, like candle flickering lights and they'll flicker at different uh, pulsating flickers, I guess you could call it. And they won't be able to be seen, but I'll have the reflective light. So you'll see something through these windows, not much, but you will see some uh, glimmer of, of like a candlelight. I'll also do that around the windows of the captain's quarters and I will use the same type light for the lanterns. That's a move that I've made. I'm going to have to start doing some electrical wiring and the wiring can go down through here. But you really need to decide what you're going to do as far as electrical lighting. Some come with it. There's some wiring and lamps for the lanterns, but that's if I know correctly that's a solid light and I want the flickering so it looks like a flame. This would not fit in place. This was not wide enough so you have a choice either file this down or file these uh, cutouts in further. I chose to file this off. Just took a simple file, filed until it would actually fit. To help you get the right angle on this wall for the windows and the, the door to the cabin's quarters, hopefully you can see in there, there's a notch that is on the, the, um, the center, what, keel of the ship, maybe? And it has the angle all set for you, so you just push the door back towards that, line it up, and then I put some super glue on that spot. There's a part here on the instructions 12A and it goes and supports the very tip of the um, deck behind the wall with the doors and the windows into the captain's quarters. It doesn't say anything about 12B, but 12B is an exact duplicate. So I'm going to assume it goes on the other side and I kind of place this right under here. And you can't quite tell, but this has a slight arch to it. I'm assuming that's because the the deck has a slight arch to it. So I'm putting it so that it arches um, this way. You can see my movement. And then I'll turn it around and put 12B on the opposite side. 
One area of improvement on the front of the ship is this section, parts 22, then 22A through D. However, there is one weakness on this, and let me go over the actual parts. And specifically on 22A, this is a very weak joint right there, and I actually broke that off when I was sanding off the nubs. Here's the partner to it. And you can see the white mark up there. That's where it's connected to the placards. It's important that you sand all those off. And when I took my little um, sanding file and worked on that one, I snapped it off. Now I was able to super glue it back together, but it's still going to be very weak. And you can see it's not quite straight any longer. So I may snap it off again when I put it in place. But if I do, I'll, I'll just super glue it in, in place. So that's, that's one mild weakness on the 22A piece and its corresponding one. The corresponding ones are not marked, but you can tell they match up pretty easily. The instructions already show this in place, so there's no indication of uh, whether you try and put it in place and put it together one piece at a time, which I don't think is possible. So what I've opted for is to get the straightest piece of material that I could come up with this is a um, tile that I picked up at, uh, I think, Lowe's or Menards. It was on clearance. Sometimes I, I mount the, my smaller ships on something like this, but it's a nice flat surface. I put these together dry fit, and as you can see, you could wobble them a little, so I'm going to, that, that's this is a good flat surface. I'm going to get them pretty much as straight as what I think I can and then go ahead and glue them in this format, then attach them to the ship. And I think I'm gonna go with the clear tacky glue so I have a little bit of time to maneuver them into place. Okay, visually, those are as straight as uh, I think I can get them. And then once they're mounted on the ship, or maybe even a little bit before, I bet I, I think I should take my belt sander and make sure all that is beveled along the edge. These will be the supports for the planking, so I want a smooth transition. So just a little bit of sanding, not a lot. I'll probably do some more after I install it. This is a very fine um, grit on the sanding paper. And if you make a mistake like I did, and you've already super glued it, nail polish remover will loosen super glue or CA glue. Got one off, I'm still working on the other two. Okay, we've got it uh, unassembled, and I'll tell you what I must have done wrong. Uh, I put it together, but I put it together the same as the other side, and it has to be the opposite so that these can follow the curvature of the ship. I have it reassembled the correct way. So this is how it's going to fit right in there. the error that I made make sure that you test fit both sides because I inadvertently put this together the same direction as that one and it would not fit over here
So this might be a good place to turn it back over to our commentator. There's a lot of work needs to be done, Yardies, and this is no time to be throwing three sheets to the wind. We've got to get this ship set to sail. So let's batten down the hatches and get to work. <laughs> 